What's up guys, this is Jordan here from Tech on Earth and today we're gonna take a look how we can connect our desktop computer to the internet of your home wirelessly. That's right. So we would we most of us use broadband connection at home and we also have wireless routers. But unfortunately we cannot use wireless routers with a desktop computer to connect our internet without the use of an ethernet cable but today we're gonna have a look at how we can actually connect the desktop computer to our, uh, to our wireless router without the use of an ethernet cable so before further ado let's get started so to wirelessly connect our desktop computer to the internet or to a wireless router the first thing that we need it's a very small device that is the wireless nano USB adapter and I have this device with me here from a company named as TP-Link which I bought recently and with a bearing a model number TLWN725N so let's unbox it and have a look at what do we get inside so having a look here behind the box, what we can see is the price which says that are, which says uh, the rupees one thousand one hundred and forty nine. But I purchased it from Amazon India at a price of around uh, five hundred Indian rupees, including shipping charges, uh, which converts to around uh, ten dollars approximately. I've also checked that it is available on Amazon.com uh, for the price of around ten dollars and uh, around seven pounds on on amazon.co.uk so what do we have here is we have the wireless speed which says it's up to 150 mbps and it supports the windows mac as well as linux operating system uh, interface it says the usb 2.0 and frequency range 2.4 to 2.4835 gigahertz so now let's dig into the box and see what do we have here. Opening the box. First and foremost, all what we can see is the uh, the the nano adapter itself. Let's take it off the box and keep it the keep it at the side. Let's see what else do we get in here. Okay, this is the installation CD with that we have a resource CD or the installation CD there's some quick installation guide out here uh, say for Windows and for Mac OS so, yeah so you can keep it at the side some other documentation some more documentation so let's keep everything to the side and take a look at the uh, device itself. So taking it out of the plastic which we get it with. Yeah. So yeah, here we have the TP link. It says TP link on the top. Uh, it looks like some gold plated uh, the USB type A port. Uh, this is a USB type A port guys which we have to connect to the USB type a port on your computer or the desktop computer uh, this black surface looks like a glass sort of or like you can say plastic yeah so let's jump onto the computer and see the process of setting it up over there this is now we are onto the computer I have just connected the TP-Link Wi-Fi uh, the receiver to the USB port of the computer and I've inserted the CD-ROM which we got along in the box into the CD-ROM drive. So now let's set it up. We need to install the driver here for the device to work. So as you can see here, it shows. So double clicking on it, open it. And on the TP-Link setup wizard, we can see two devices here. So ours is the TLWN725. So if you just take the cursor onto it, you get the install driver just click on install driver yes and then say yes 
Okay, you can choose multiple languages from here. But I choose English. Okay. Okay. Then welcome to the install shield wizard for TP Link. Just say next. Searching for the card. Okay. So since they detected the card, uh, here we have two options. Uh, install driver only and install TP Link wireless configuration utility and driver. Uh, you can either install one of them, but uh, I will just go for the driver. I don't want the utility, so I'm just installing the. I'm installing the driver only. Say next, install. So now it's installing. It may take some time depending upon the uh, uh, speed of your computer. So yeah, it's almost done. Uh, yeah, finally it's done. Just setting up the. Waiting for it. It hardly takes around one or two minutes guys so let's be a little bit patient so yeah this is it it's almost done so we exit this and are you sure to quit yes there's a small uh some antenna bar appeared down there it has got the yellow color some uh, flower sort of on the uh, on the icon it's in the taskbar so all we have to do is just click on it and see and, and you guys can see cabs that's my home internet connection so all what we have to do is just go and click on it and click connect mind you guys if there's a password it's gonna ask you for your password just enter your password and it's gonna automatically connect to your internet so just waiting to connect uh, I don't know it's taking some time and boom there you go it's connected as you can see uh, the network lines have appeared so guys now that our internet is connected uh, let's try opening some web pages so move this is my google chrome and uh, let me close this uh, let me open gsm arena again gsm arena there you go uh, yeah it's turning and there you go guys it's it's opening so the entire web page is open so this is the way we connect our desktop computer to the uh, uh, to uh, to the internet without the use of wires anyways guys i hope you like the video if you liked it please do hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel and to get notified when i upload a brand new video kindly turn on the bell icon so until next time you guys take care ciao